benign nephrosclerosis, also called hypertensive nephrosclerosis or vascular nephrosclerosis, is caused by sclerosis of renal arterioles and small arteries due to hypertension. Afferent arterioles are typically the most affected. Hypertension can damage the small arteries, uh, resulting in uh, the thickening and hyalinization of the blood vessel wall. Uh, the hyalinization of the blood vessel wall then causes partial or complete obliteration of the lumen of the artery, uh, arteries and arterioles, and that can lead to ischemic damage with uh, tubular atrophy, interstitial fibrosis, periglomerular fibrosis, and also glomerulosclerosis, and that's what we see here. So here we have the surface of the kidney, and here we are looking at the cortex of the kidney, and uh, some of the glomeruli are retained, they, are, they look quite normal, but most of the glomeruli are completely sclerotic and hyalinized. And these hyalinized glomeruli uh, do not work anymore, and uh, we can see a uh, slow progression of the renal dysfunction that can lead over the time into the end-stage kidney or renal failure. Both kidneys are usually slightly smaller, shrunken with granular surface and uh, granular or irregular uh, surface that sometimes resembles leather. If this is severe, this can lead to a very small, completely shrunken end-stage kidney. So if we go closer, we can see uh, the thickening of the arterial wall with a reduplication of the elastic layer here and the small capillaries, um, most importantly afferent arterioles, are affected as well. In the renal medulla we typically see sclerotization of the interstitial space, also called hyalinization. Alright, so this is the appearance of uh, benign nephrosclerosis. Thanks for watching.